Sea of Thieves actually becomes a horror game when you sail on a sloop. Bigger crews are always trying to hunt you down and rob you, but that doesn't mean you should give up. In this video, we put a target on our backs for every other ship in the server to come sink us, but we win by using our secret weapon, Schizophrenia. That's right! As a sloot player, I'm always paranoid and constantly checking the horizon for the next crew coming to steal my loot. And that's where our story begins. I was parked at this Fort of Fortune. Little did I know there was a brigantine crew plotting to rob me. That is, until I spotted their ship hiding at the island next to us. They thought they were being sneaky. The brigantine was using the oldest trick in the book. They were just going to park their ship and wait until I beat the fort for them. And then they were going to surprise attack me. They even repositioned their ship to the opposite side of the outpost to hide it from me. Little did they know I could still see the top of their mast giving them away. Now at this point, I was already nervous about this threat, but then I saw something that scared me even more. A mermaid had just spawned off the coast. There's a dude here, there's a dude here, tucking. It's amazing I actually spotted this by accident. Because I saw no blue smoke, it meant that this mermaid belonged to an enemy player. This means one of the brigantine players is on our island right now waiting to strike. This devious pirate had actually swam here all the way from the outpost. Now that's some serious dedication to trolling, but by simply being aware of my surroundings, I had already foiled their surprise attack by noticing both their ship and the enemy on our island. There was nothing I could do now except spring the trap. Spring the trap. <laughs> Let's hope we can sell it before the brig arrives. Once we beat the fort, we knew we had to play this smart. Step one was to immediately blow up the nukes in the treasure vault so the enemy can't use them against us. Step two was to immediately hide the valuable chest of fortune in some bushes. Now the hidden player on our island couldn't nuke our ship or steal our prize. Step three was to start piling up loot to harpoon to our ship. But suddenly, our worst fears were realized. The enemy brigantine had finally started sailing towards us. This was no time to be greedy. It was time to leave with whatever loot we could grab. So we quickly harpooned the most valuable treasure onto our ship and we set sail. Just, I'm really terrified that there's literally a dude tucking here right now. Let me know when you have the chest of fortune we need to go. I have it, let's go. All right, can you start turning the wheel behind us? We'll go to sanctuary, exactly west. But suddenly, the enemy hiding on our island decided to finally strike. Oh my gosh, got him. Dude, that was crazy. Uh -huh. There's another one in the water. Oh, he's by the island. My teammate's quick reaction time saved our ship from getting blown up. That man had actually been waiting in the water with a powder keg the whole time. It was a genius play. He was going to keg us right before his teammates would pull up to finish the job. But we had foiled their plan, and ironically, they had just hand-delivered me a powerful weapon I could use against them. I'm going to go for a keg play. Just keep us sailing right. to Sanctuary, go directly west. Dude, that's so crazy that you stopped him there. They would have literally caught us. In a funny twist of events, I was about to blow up their ship with the keg that was meant for us. Hey, you got him. And they're anchored? Should I turn around? Uh, no. I think that's dangerous. Alright, if you can sink them by yourself, go for it. I blew up their ship and dropped their anchor. Then I stalled them for as long as I could before I died. That was like the ultimate Uno reverse card. This counterattack worked. Yeah, they're still stopped at the fort. They're just now starting to chase us. I bought us enough time to escape and go sell our chest of fortune. We sailed into a hurricane to reach Sanctuary Outpost. This storm would keep us hidden while we sold our treasure. Our larger enemy had schemed up a plan to surprise attack us, but in the end, our awareness let us always stay one step ahead of them. It felt good to sell our chest of fortune, but this victory wasn't enough for me. I wanted blood. Now with nothing to lose, it was time to sail back there and fight the brigantine head on. Oh wait, yeah, they're selling right now. Let's sink them while they're selling. Sure enough, we found them back at that outpost, selling all the loot we had left in the treasure vault. But their greed would now be their downfall, because now it was us who had the element of surprise. While they were distracted selling our loot, it was time to strike them fast and hard. I cannon launched my teammate early to go over and anchor them, while I moved our ship into attack position.
you want to get on a wheel when you get back and just turn it uh, to the mm. side. They're trying to board us. He's on. That was me. Oh that no, was that me. was you. All right, yeah, you should be the angle. I'm gonna go board. All right. Or I wonder if there's sound. Wait, oh, they're moving, they're moving. They tried to escape, but we were ready to immediately chain shot their masts. Hey, that looks good, that looks good. That looks good. That should have oh, been nice. both you of them. Oh, nice, you got both of them. Yeah, you got both of them. Wait, why are they, why are they, why are they not falling? They caught both, I'll chain shot them. That was their front? That was their back. I'm gonna go board. Alright. If you just want to start death spiraling, maybe? Yeah. Wait, they might have... Oh, they just got anchor balled by the skelly ship. That's hilarious. You can start a death spiral. Alright. I hit their mast, it should be dropping again. There Ooh. we go. They sunk! Nice. We did it. We defeated our greedy enemies. This brigantine had thought they were gonna rob a smaller crew easily, but little did they know the sloop would foil their plans and then come back to sink them. Unfortunately, we didn't have much time to celebrate because an even bigger crew was now coming for us. Have you ever heard the expression, there's always a bigger fish? There's always a bigger fish. It was a galleon, twice our size with twice the manpower. Sloop players really can't catch a break, can they? But I was done running from bigger enemies. It was time to fight. We still had supplies and chain shot, and we were already warmed up for battle. I opened the fight with a board to get a feel for their skill level. I get this. Oh, no way. Okay. I have not stopped. Oh, I forgot to refill my food. I'm dead. We just ran them. I'll watch, I'll watch, I'll watch. Don't worry. Thank you, miss. Alright, I'm gonna chain shot them if you wanna keep me angled. Right. Oh, shoot, there's fire. Can you get the fire out or get angled? Either one's fine. Yeah. I got two of their masts. I'm gonna go board and go for an anchor. All right. The enemy ship was crippled. This fight was now ours to lose. We just needed to play it smart. One of us would board and keep their anchor down while the other one would land cannon shots on their ship. Use your bone collar. Oh yeah, good idea. Oh, there are all their skeletons are here. They're starting to fill up here. So are we grab a couple buckets? another one I'm dead I'm dead we had also strategically positioned our ship out of their cannon angle it was only a matter of time before this enemy would sink that looks so crazy are we still why are we still moving that's what I'm saying how literally how are we still moving oh almost an extra we almost threw the fight here, because our ship drifted into their cannon angle. 
And then an enemy boarded us to anchor. Oh, he's on! Oh, that was really close. I almost died. I killed a bunch of them. Killed him. You have to stay alive. I'm raising anchor to get out of their broadside. Just run away for a few seconds. I killed another one. Nice, good stuff. I killed another one. They just keep running into my one blunders. This is great. Oh, I fell in the water. They get more lower decks on them. They sunk. They sunk. Nice. Let's go. We did it. Against the odds, we completed the Fort of Fortune, sold the chest of fortune, took on two larger crews back to back, and sunk them both. Today we were victorious, but the reality is you're not always going to win. Sea of Thieves can be rough for a sloot player, but you have to find joy in being the underdog, and you might find your stuff getting stolen more than you'd like. But at the end of the day, this game is called Sea of Thieves, and that's just part of the fun. If you liked this video, please subscribe to me, and thanks for watching Captain Squiddy. Hi, buddy. Unless there's more than one. Oh, there's more than one. <laughs> he just whipped a sword dash. Wait, play music, play music. Okay. Oh, wait, wait, this is actually, we're in danger. There's yeah. multiple boards. Oh, I'm dead. We don't have any holes though, we're fine. I'm throwing. Oh, he whipped a sword dash also. I killed him.